With Buffalo Park, it's the second uh, largest park in the world and the largest one in Canada. It's uh, 44,807 square kilometers. By aircraft, it would take you an hour and a half to fly to the south end. Well, today we're in our uh, visitor center here in Fort Smith. And this is where our visitors, when they uh, first come into the community, uh, are greeted by our visitor experience staff and other staff as well. And we give them a small uh, introduction of uh, what they can see uh, before they head off into the park. Right now we're driving along the Salt Plains Access Road in Wood Buffalo National Park. We're a World uh, UNESCO uh, Heritage Site uh, since 1983. Uh, of course, uh, nominated to protect uh, the free roaming bison. Uh, we have uh, whooping cranes that uh, nest here in the summer. This is a really good place to come to if you're looking to see some wood bison in Wood Buffalo National Park. Aside from along the roads where oftentimes you'll see them congregated, they're free roaming and this is a place where they'll be attracted to because of the salt. So right here is a nice place to take off your shoes and socks and enjoy the natural spa feeling that you can get walking out on the salt plain and actually feeling the salt beneath your feet. So here we get to experience the second part of our foot spa. We've experienced feeling the salt and now we're going to get to feel the mud on our way to the salt mat. How did that feel? In the winter, a lot of people enjoy going out dog sledding and skidooing, as well as uh, seeing the northern lights or aurora borealis, and they're beautiful dance across the sky. They have green colors, and sometimes we'll actually see pink, purple, and reds, as in the night sky they tend to come out in the wintertime. We're very pleased that this park has so much Aboriginal cultural history behind it. We have uh, 11 diverse Aboriginal groups that uh, live in and around the park. Whether it's a monitoring of uh, bison and doing or moose and doing those types of counts, uh, we have community participation. They help us develop fire management plans. They work with us on a park management planning process so we can actually manage the park together. And uh, we, we encounter them in a number of community events. Uh, they have some cultural, uh, historical events here. We are a unique place and have other places within the park like the Delta. So I want you to come and spend some time here and uh, invite all Canadians and everybody, even beyond Canadians, to come and visit this place because it is a very spectacular and unique place. <laughs>